if you ever take a trip to Cobb County, Georgia, you better respect the memory of the big boss man or you'll be serving hard times. Ray Trailer, who passed away in 2004, was best known as the big boss man during his time in the WWF. Mattel has made a new figure of him as part of their WWE Network Spotlight line, featuring an outfit of the wrestler that he wore back in 1989. I missed out on the first big boss man figure that Mattel did back in their Elite Series 14, so I'm happy that I can catch up now thanks to this re-release. The packaging is straightforward, but stands out on the shelves with its striking color palette. What I like most about the packaging on the Network Spotlight figures is the back, because of how clean they are, and let you focus on this figure and not what else is in the line. It seems that with this entire line, it's essentially a one figure at a time kind of series, so that does allow for this kind of freedom. There seems to be no differences between this figure and the original version from Series 14, other than this re-release does not include the ball and chain accessory that the Series 14 one had. He has all of the articulation of the average Elite style figure, which includes ball joints in the shoulders and legs, articulated chest buck, and lots of flexibility so that you can give other figures a boss man kick. The figure includes his sunglasses and nightstick, which comes in handy for when you want him to have a hardcore match. Although Mattel has not made the Attitude Era version of Boss Man just yet, but here is hoping that they might. He also comes with his handcuffs, which fit easily over other figures' wrists. If you missed out on the first release of the Big Boss Man, here's your best chance to find him at a reasonable price. I was one of the sad few who did miss the first release of this by Mattel, so this Network Spotlight re-release is a much welcome addition to my collection, and it will probably be to yours as well. <laughs>